Previously on Splinter Cell Double Agent. We put Sam in Ellsworth prison, not because he was a thief or a murderer, but because we needed him there. One of the prisoners, a man named Jamie Washington, was suspected of having ties to a domestic terrorist group whose name had started coming up on Third Echelon's radar. Now here's the deal. I'm gonna start a little ruckus down this way. While I'm doing that, you go do the same thing over in Block A. Where? You know, the main tower block. Open the cell doors in there, and this place will really be rocking. Okay, Sam, here's the deal. I've got some friends. They call themselves John Brown's Army. We're gonna go meet up with them. I can get you in with us. If you're interested. And I'm thinking you just might be. I have to make this quick, Sam. Before you get inside the JBA compound and their ECM fuzzes the transceiver in your jaw, you are to gather information and provide access. I need you to put a back door into their servers and a bug on their main comm antenna. Other than that, do what you have to do to keep from getting caught. Lambert out. Follow me, Sam. Welcome to your new home. Most of the compound's off-limits until Emile Dufresne, that's the boss, signs off on you. But I can at least take you to your quarters and show you around. Got it. Anderson, Sully, get over here and help escort the fresh meat. Welcome back, here, Washington. Buddy. Who's your little prison friend? This is Sam Fisher. He helped bust me out. He's gonna be just fine. All right, Fisher. Just don't screw up. You and I won't have any problems. You got it? Got it. Follow me, Sam. You'll be bunking in here, Sam. Hope you don't snore. Golden, what the hell are you doing here? Get back to your post, or you'll end up in the furnace! You got that? Sorry, sir. Fisher, you're with me. Come along. Catch you later. I was supposed to be in the server room five minutes ago anyway. What do you want me to do? Die. But that's not an option. Listen, Moose. It's Moss. Get it right or pay the price. Just shut up and follow me. Emil says to see if you'll be useful in the field. We're gonna need a safe cracker. Complete the training course, open the safe at the end. There's one in there. Think you can handle that? Now when I get back, I expect the safe to be open and you to be here. Got it? Got it. What's going on everybody? It's Snot Rag and I am back with more Splinter Cell Double Agent on the Xbox Series S. We're on to our first mission in the JBI, JBA hideout number one. This is going to be mission three of the game. It's pretty straightforward from here. It's just going to give you the run of the mill tutorials that the game kind of force feeds you at this point if people are not really veterans of the franchise like I am. It's also pretty fun, but all we got to do is just pretty much get through all the Mission Impossible-esque laser things, and that's it. The core of the hideouts, um, of the hideout missions in particular, is where this game really shines because you get to go in restricted areas, uh, make decisions that will impact your relationship with the JBA, that will impact your relationship with the NSA as well, so you get to really live the life of a double agent in this game, and that's why it's it's really fun till this day, and it was definitely ahead of its time. A quick note that I will be doing this game canonized, and what I mean by that is I will be choosing the outcomes that are canon in the franchise. I'm not going to be spoiling anything, but 
my choices in this game might shock people it might not for people that have been following the franchise as long as i have because i am a diehard splinter cell fan and again this section is relatively easy when it's when we get to the nitty gritty of uh, sneaking into the uh, restricted areas that i'll explain stuff but this is just to kind of familiarize yourself with the controls and everything And yeah, it's, it's still kind of like tanky and everything like that, but this game I think came out in 2006, I think? I'm, I'm not quite certain. I think 2006. I can't really remember. That's it. A little fun little obstacle course. And here it's going to teach us about safe cracking, which I, I like this mini game a lot. I think it's actually really, really, really fun. It can be very sensitive though, so just take your time with it. We'll have plenty of time. We don't have to rush at all throughout this entire section. At all. And here we got our first checkpoint. Alright. Now we're going to go to the firing range. Just that way we can uh, build a little more trust within the JBA. You'll always have the firing range available after completing every mission. So if you're a little low on trust, you can always run the obstacle course again. You can always do the firing range. So we're just going to do both. And a bit of warning. Nobody judge me on my aiming. This is a stealth game, not a sniping game or Call of Duty. So, yeah, if I have really bad aim, I apologize, but screw you. <laughs> it was so bad that I, I had to turn up my, uh, my sensitivity because I just could not hit the house if I was standing in it in this section. And it made me so mad. So I had to turn up my sensitivity like you wouldn't believe. But this minigame is pretty fun. You know, just... You get more points if you hit the bullseye, you know, that kind of stuff. And obviously, if you run out of ammo, you reload, and then you have to start all over. But I want to take the time to go ahead and say thank you all so, so much for all the love and support for the channel that I've been getting as of late. And also, thank you guys so much for all the love and support of the stealth series that I have. Glad you're on our side. Nope, my dad taught me how to shoot, thank you. And I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun, just until I run out of ammo. <laughs> Alright, so now we have a little more trust within the JBA, and it's time to go do our primary NSA objectives. So what I like to do is, um, one of the objectives is right in here, but we're gonna bypass that for now. And we're just gonna go straight to the roof. Especially now since we're clear, if anybody is coming in our direction when we're trying to get up the ladder, they will see you and you'll get in trouble. So that's a big no-no. Tell me about it. It's like they don't care if it all falls apart. Walk slow. And we get to weld it back and because we can't crouch until we're, we're near the done. little uh, entryway there. Nice and slow, silky smooth, just the way we like it. Awesome. The first JBA hideout, this one, is relatively easy for the most part. You just gotta move slow, time your movements. Now here is, uh, this guy can be a bit problematic sometimes when it comes to timing and being able to get out, get in, get out, no problem. We just got a new variable in the equation. If anything changes, you let me know. Okay. So we're close to our first objective, which is to bug the antenna roof. As soon as we're walking nice and slow here. And you're going to want to lockpick this open. Give me here. Perfect. And now we just gotta boogie on out of here, then that's it. We're just gonna wait here. Until the guy that we bypassed earlier comes back and kind of makes a little loop. 
And there's going to be a little hatch that he'll walk by. And that hatch will allow us to bypass where we originally came from instead of having to go all the way back around it. Because back in the day, I didn't know that hatch was there, and I went all the way back around. And trying to get out of that little tunnel with those two guys working on that fan is almost impossible. So you can wait right here. He's not going to see you. And as soon as he walks past the skylight, that's when you can go. And then open the vent, and we're good. If you do it too early, he will see you. And we're just gonna drop on down. And then we're gonna go pay a little visit down below that little health clinic that we saw earlier because that's our next objective. And we're gonna meet Enrica. I'm Enrica. I'd love to chat, but I'm a little busy. Managed to impress Emil with your credentials, though. He's gonna ask you to hijack a super tanker for him. Come back another time, please. Duty calls. So she's gonna go in that office. This can be a little tough to do. It's all about timing as well. First off, we're gonna make sure that we're kind of in the clear. There's a guy that likes to patrol this area and he'll come in and turn the light on. There he is right there. So we're gonna turn this light off for a little bit of extra insurance. And then we're going to go over to Enrique's door. Walk slow, because the closer you get to the door, the faster Sam likes to run, and you'll make noise. And uh, Enrique will be startled, and it's just a, it's a mess. Alright. Leave the door open for a little bit of extra insurance, just so that way we can boogie on out of here easily. Grab the file. Oh, or not. Oh, shit, the door closed. Move slow. As soon as you see that symbol, that's when you can hit the button to open the door. And we're good. And look at that. The guy came just in time. Silky smooth. Alright, the next area that we gotta go to is the server room. And again, this can be kind of a bitch when it comes to stealth and getting the files and everything like that as well. First, we're going to make sure that we're a little clear. See, as soon as he gets close to the door, he likes to run. So we're going to turn this light off for a little bit of insurance, and we're going to hack this and get on in. Ah, there it is. I better get back in there. Move slow because the AI in this game is ridiculously sensitive. I don't know what Ubisoft Shanghai was smoking when they made this game. I really don't. I guess they were trying to go for like almost ultimate realism when it comes to that, which, okay. But damn, bro. I'm just gonna hide here and wait for Jamie. Look, Jackass, next time you don't call me until you're ready. When I get back, either your server is up and running, or I bring a meal down here. Dumbasses. Alright, in we go. So what do you do? Again, move slow. If you move too fast like I'm doing right here, you'll cut this guy's uh, dialogue with the other guy in here. And he'll be trotting down this area a little too early. So just stay here. He won't see you. And now we can move. Again, move slow. Now the file cabinet next to this guy on the computer. It can be done. What I recommend. What I recommend doing at least. Is. As soon as you open this door. And you get your primary objective done. Reload the checkpoint. As soon as you get the checkpoint signal. We're just going to hack into this computer, and then we're going to upload the Trojan, and that's it. Alright, now here's going to be a checkpoint. Now right here, reload the checkpoint. 
Once you do that, you move slow. This can be done. It might take you a few times. Move very, very slow. this and that's it and we're gonna go all the way back where we came from all the way to where Carson dropped us off with the uh, training room moose or moss or whatever your name is he's a jackass I don't like him and I got stuck here okay remain calm I fixed this situation <laughs> Check our offset real quick just to make sure that we did do everything here. Completed, completed. Yep, we did it. Alright. Not bad. And we were nice and stealthy to boot. Alright, let's uh let's go back and say hi to Moose. you make me wait the less I like you you know that now let's see if you're worth waiting for not bad now let's see how you handle something a little tougher come on all right so now we got to follow him and that's gonna be it pretty easy mission um, just make sure that you move slow you time your movements and uh, reload the checkpoints if you have to that's really it. Kind of fun little introductory mission to uh, building the trust system between the JBA and the NSA. getting a little tired. I'd like you to meet Cole Yeager. You might recognize him as the pilot from the news helicopter that Jamie was stupid enough to bring here. Here you go. What do you want me to do with this? What do you think? You guys pretty much know my choice already. Oh, decisions, decisions. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh huh. That's what you should have done. Enrica mentioned something about a super tanker. Did she? Hmm. Okay, I'll give you one chance to prove yourself. Your flight leaves in 30 minutes. Where am I going? Huh? You'll find out when you get there. All right, mission complete. Got all the profile objectives, completed all secondary and primary objectives. Look at that, 100% stealth, guys. That's how you do it. All right, well, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, and do subscribe, so that way you guys can stay up to date on all the videos that I got going on. We will be continuing the stealth series of Splinter Cell Double Agent relatively soon. We got the toughest mission coming up. Oh, boy. It's going to be a bit of a doozy, but I am ready for it. 
once again, thank you all so much for watching, and as always, stay frosty.